Good morning. I actually have a fairly productive and fun day ahead of me, so I figured I would do a vlog of today. Right now, I'm gonna go get changed though because I actually do have an appointment for a facial. I'm so excited. I feel like my skin and my face has just been needing some TLC recently, so I'm gonna go get a facial. So excited about that, and I'm gonna take you guys with me. I have not gotten a facial in so long. I forget just how amazing it makes your skin feel. And also, it seriously feels so glowy and soft and smooth. Feels absolutely amazing. If any of you guys live in the Charlotte area and you need a good esthetician to go to and you just want your skin to feel amazing, I went to this girl named Kylie. She is the owner of Kylie Ann Aesthetics. I will put her Instagram in the description of this video. My skin feels amazing and I will be rebooking with her because, oh my gosh. Feels so good. I feel like a new woman right now. I'm so tired. Be my world on fire. I'm a little delirious. I think we try again. I can't see where I'm going. I lost all my emotions. I feel the worst is Stealing all my serotonin. I just finished shooting my airy content, um, got a little bit of video footage of that. Using a tripod and the Lens Buddy app is chef's kiss for getting your own photos. What do you do? Oh, do you have a Q-tip? Where'd you get this? Where did you get this? This is one of two of Daphne's favorite toys a q-tip that she will rip up and then the other one is a string of plastic anyways i got the content got the photos about to look through those so i can post something and then i also stopped and got a coffee before i left the area that i was in i got an oat milk latte it's delicious and also i wanted to share the airy outfit that i'm wearing let me show you in my mirror this is the airy slit halter jumpsuit in blue um it's a little big on me it also has pockets on the side which is like that's the selling point right there and then this is where it gets the slit name on the side it almost kind of looks like a dress but there are pants and pockets what more could you want this was the fit that i wear for the photos i love it so much it's so comfortable and if you didn't know i'm an airy ambassador you can save 20 percent off your first order i'll link it below go buy yourself something nice because you deserve it it is almost 5 p.m. and I'm gonna do just like a super quick makeup look and get dressed, not wear this. A couple of my friends invited me out to the Charlotte football club game tonight. I guess it's the football club, but it's soccer. I'm excited, I've never been. I've heard really cool things about it though. And having lived in Charlotte for a little while, you would think I would have gone to a game by now, but I haven't. I don't really know much about soccer, to be totally honest, but I think this is just like one of those things for Charlotte that people just go, have fun, hang out with their friends. I don't think it's like a super crazy intense sporting event. Again, I'm not wearing a ton of makeup. I'm just applying this tinted moisturizer that has SPF in it because I did get that facial earlier today. I wanna to make sure my skin is super protected. Okay, here is my soccer game outfit of the night. I really don't know what you wear to a soccer game. It's really hot outside. Didn't want to wear a t-shirt. Didn't want to sweat. So we're going bodysuit from Amazon brown and these skater cargo pants from Aerie. I just have like this khaki color. They're very comfortable. They even have a pocket on the side. It's amazing. That's the look. I'm going to wear my white Converse because I feel like wear my Converse with everything.
Hi, vlog. <laughs> we are, we're alive. Um, it was a really fun time last night. I'd never been to a soccer game. We won. Super fun. Very, actually very fun though. Like, cause I've been to a few football games, which, uh, hi Daphne, she wants to be in the vlog too. Um, a few football games, those are fun. The soccer game was like actually really fun though. Like mm -hmm. good, good energy, like it was fun. We yes. had a good group too. And then we went out afterwards. May or may not have had a few drinks. A few drinks, a couple shots. One shot in particular, um, one of Miranda's friends, I'm pretty sure ordered, went to the bartender and said, hi, can I please have three shots of battery acid? And the bartender was like, yeah, no problem. The worst possible tequila you've ever First of all, like, I life. love tequila, or like, don't love it. Like, I like tequila, but the tequila was ye like yellow tequila, and it was like warm. There was no lime, no salt. No lime, no salt, nothing. no chaser, just tequila. no. Just and that was like the final straw. That's what took That's when the hiccup yeah. started, yes. and then that's when yes. I was like, rethinking my life choices. And like, I think if I swallow hard enough this morning, I can still taste it. No, seriously, it was horrible. And then I slept over at Miranda's house last night and then we went to pick up my car this morning and we're back at my apartment. Yeah. I took a very quick body shower cause I was stanky. <laughs> um, and then now we're hanging out with Daph Aww. for a minute. She's enjoying the sun. And we are on the hunt now for some breakfast at noon yes. and we're gonna get our nails done because Miranda is going to see Taylor Swift this weekend. We're not going wait. together, but like we'll be there yeah. together and like we're gonna try to get ready and stuff together. We're just going with different groups. Like we're both going to be there. So we're gonna get T-Swift nails. Um, we're excited. So we're gonna take you along with us this morning. And Miranda is also debuting her meow hat. Yes. We this love. was a free hat. I went to a pet palooza. Um, like event for Humane Society Charlotte and they had a bunch of different vendors there and this was a vet I believe and they had literally every color you could think of and they had ones for dogs that said woof too but the green is a sleigh the green is a sleigh the green is amazing and it's like neutral meow like it's green on green which no it's amazing I, really I would have it. paid like $30 for that on Etsy no yeah like easily so yeah make the whole place shimmer. <laughs> the last time I talked to you guys was on Sunday. I just finished getting my nails done with Miranda. We were kind of like hanging out and recovering from our little weekend. And since then I've just been working, so I haven't been vlogging at all. I'm about to get ready right now, actually just a quick little evening get ready with me because I'm going out with some friends tonight. It is a Wednesday night actually, believe it or not. So nothing too crazy, but there is a local bar here in Charlotte that is doing a Taylor Swift musical bingo night. And before we go out for that, I am grabbing dinner with two of my friends, Katie and Betty. I have a new bronzer that I bought a while ago. It's the same brand I've been using forever. It's the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula, but I am so dedicated to using every last bit of makeup possible when I'm getting ready. Look at this, look at this bronzer hanging on for dear life. And the top broke off months ago and I have dropped this like a million times, but I am dedicated, <laughs> I am dedicated to getting every last little bit possible out of this bronzer. Cause look, there's still plenty of good bronzer on there. I may be a little insane, but that's okay. Since it's rainy and cold outside, this is what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing some Abercrombie jeans and the 
Taylor Swift era's blue crew neck. Comfy vibes for the bar tonight. <laughs> Did you miss me? Look at the little beans. Look at the little beans. I'm just gonna throw her on my shoulder here for a second. Taylor Swift musical bingo was so much fun. The place was super crowded and packed. I don't think that this bar anticipated this many people being there, but it was super crazy busy. And we even got there at 7 a.m., 7 a.m., 7 p.m., which was like an hour before the bingo event started. So it was very busy, had a great time though. Had a very delicious frozen espresso martini. It like kind of tasted like a frappuccino. Um, now I'm just hanging out with my little girl. <laughs> She's so ridiculous, you guys. No, I'm kidding. It's, she's like part monkey at this point. Hi, everyone. It's been a minute since I have last seen you and talked to you on the vlog. I'm gonna take my claw clip out because I saw a TikTok that said like when you're driving, you should really take your claw clip out. Well, hello. I only worked a half day today because I had to make up a couple of hours from seeing Taylor Swift and I wanted to save a little bit of PTO so I just decided to pick up a couple hour shift. I also am now en route to my hair appointment but I am also en route to a tire place because a mere two days ago my car had a flat tire. That's right, ye old trusty reliable ravioli. Uh, she got a flat tire and for the record I am thrilled to announce that I did in fact change my tire, my flat tire, and put the spare tire on all by myself. So my brother was there with me luckily so I asked my brother just to supervise me while I did it to make sure I was doing it right and I did! I did it right, I changed my flat tire, I put the spare on and uh, now I am rocking on a donut on the way to my hair appointment and also on the way to the tire place that I wanna to go to because where my hair appointment is and where this tire shop is, they're relatively close. So I'm hoping I can like make it there on time, go drop my car off at the tire place and then go walk over to where my hair appointment is and get my hair done. So I'm like really hoping that I can get there on time, but we'll see because currently because I'm rocking on a donut, you see all these cars passing me? Yeah, I had to Google just how fast one can drive on a spare tire, and it turns out you cannot and should not go over about 50 miles per hour. Hello and goodbye. So I'm currently rocking out in the slow lane over here, which is so not what I do. I drive safely. I took a defensive driving course when I was like 15. I am very aware of my surroundings. I'm a very good driver. I film when I drive sometimes, and I don't mess with the camera. I set it up before I drive. I'm going below the speed limit, well below the speed limit to ensure that the uh, donut gets me to my destination. Thank you. You know, just being safe. Although it is painful right now to drive 50, I'm actually going 45 on the interstate. This is really embarrassing for me. This is actually hurting my ego. I don't normally drive like this, I'm sorry. I'm a really good driver and I go adequately above the speed limit. Okay, safely, this is not who I am. And I will see you guys at some point soon. Somehow, I managed to make time. Got Starbucks for me and my hair lady. Also ran to the bank to get cash and dropped my car off at the tire place. And now I'm walking to my hair appointment, to the salon. And I'm gonna be on time for my appointment. Crazy. And I rode here on a donut. Life's crazy sometimes. Cheers! Blonde blonde again. I'm so excited. This is my OG hairdresser kit. I'm just been doing my hair since I was like 14. My first set of blonde highlights was with this lovely lady right here. So I'm excited. So how blonde do you want to be? 
Um, I feel like I want to do something in between like dirty blonde and blonde. Like I don't think I want to, I don't think for the foreseeable future I want to do any like white, white, bright blonde. Mm -hmm. Cause I did kind of like being this color of like brown and then when you added the blonde highlights. I'm thinking like this for like a lighter color and then go with two colors like we usually do to get more depth mm -hmm. in there. So the lightest shade would be that, that one. one. You can see it way better than me, I feel. Yeah, I feel like that's great. That's like not too light. That's really not enough kick, but this is we the could light, use... the light shade. I think that would be pretty for like our kick. Yeah. This honey blonde is named Truly Honey Blonde, and I think that's what we did last time. Do you think these two would do a good mix? Is that what you think? Do you like this color that's on here from last time? Yeah, I do. So that would be like your subtle color. Okay. I dig it. The brown was fun, but I think, you know, Ethan did a fantastic job, but I think I'm a blonde at heart. I have so many foils in my head right now. It's very humbling to look at yourself like this for like two hours straight. I am one foil away from being able to contact NASA. <laughs> we are we are getting medium rare in the dryer. How many foils do you think you put in my head? Mm, 125. Really? Probably. Wow. She's blonde. She's beautiful. It looks so good. I usually just don't dry it while I'm here, so it's still kind of wet. So we'll get the the after soon she's back she's blonde baby don't you love how it looks yes you did I so did. good I thank you love thank you kim hello all i am home i am showered i haven't talked to you in a while so i'm gonna give you a couple of updates um i just got out of the shower and yes i am still living in my eras tour blue crew i will never take it off for the rest of my life if you're wondering um my hair looks so good let me show you what it looks like um, texture wise, it looks ridiculous right now because the weather was absolutely gorgeous. So I drove home with my windows down, or I guess I drove to my parents' house with the windows down. Color wise, it looks beautiful. I am a blonde again. I am excited. So crazy. It looks so good though. I haven't been blonde in like six months, which doesn't seem like that big of a deal. Here we are blonde again, and I think blonde for the foreseeable future. I missed definitely being this color with these dimensions and things like that. I do not know how it's showing up on camera, but it looks so good in person. And of course it always looks even better, like a few washes in and stuff really just to get the colors to look good. I'm so excited. One of the other updates that I wanted to give was that I did end up getting my tire fixed. So after I left my hair appointment, I walked back to the tire place and they ended up just patching my tire. They were able just to kind of like plug the hole basically. I did not have to go buy a brand new tire, which was amazing. It was only $20 to get it patched. So I was really happy about that. I don't know much about like tires and cars and things. So I really thought it was going to be a lot more expensive. So that was a good win. After I picked up my car, I drove over to my parents' house and we just had a nice little evening together um, with my parents and my brother and we had dinner and then we just like sat on the porch. They live in like a really beautiful part of town where they're kind of secluded, not in the city, beautiful greenery. And we just enjoyed the spring weather and the birds chirping and yeah, you know, I don't get that in the city. So I was really just enjoying myself. It was lovely. I just drove home. I did stop at the grocery store. I wanted a little ice cream treat for tonight. And I picked up some Talenti gelato. It was buy one, get one free. So I got two just to have like more in the fridge. And I'm gonna have this raspberry cheesecake flavor, just a little bit of that tonight. So I'm just going to enjoy some gelato. I am chilling on the couch on this Friday evening, showered, comfy clothes. Again, living in this crew neck, just bury me in it. Honestly, at this point, snuggling a little deaf, going to just put on some old episodes of Friends and just chill. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys kind of following up on my like apartment tour. I added these lights to the back of my TV because I am not a fan of like harsh overhead lighting. So I'm gonna set the mood and show you guys what that looks like. So much better, honestly. I just have those LED light strips taped on the back of the TV. Let's see if you can see it back here. 
I just literally have them taped to the back of the TV in no way that it's actually interfering with the TV. And it looks so good and they are so bright. I mean, it literally lights up the whole room to an extent and the lighting, the mood, the vibe is just amazing. So I'm extremely happy with how that turned out. With that being said, I feel like this is a great place to end the vlog. Thank you so much for being here and sticking around week after week. Make sure you go easy on yourself and I'll see you in the next video.